Hey guys, it's Derek here, Big Six Clan. Today I am going to be meeting up with somebody that's going to give us some great tips so on how to place a cache in the pitfalls that you want to miss. Alright, so I'm actually with Gil or Bitbrain, but you go by another name, right? I do. And what's 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 that name? Uh, that's Yakna Patafa. Yeah, okay. I can't say it, but what I understand is that's a different name because you are a... I'm a cash reviewer. Yeah. All right, so we got a cash reviewer. So, like I was thinking, you're placing a cash. Who better to ask what are some great tips of placing a cash than a reviewer? So, what are some of the most common mistakes that you see? Uh, not getting permission. It's important to get permission when you hide your cash. You need permission? Even for an LPC? Uh, yes, even for an L. See, yeah. you're in somebody's parking lot. Uh, there are people all around. You're looking suspicious when you're lifting that skirt. So, yeah, and get permission. Yeah, get permission. So that's the number one. Will be the second. Second is check the proximity. Okay. There are great tools on the cash submission page right now. Uh, when you put in the coordinates where you want to hide your cash, uh, the site tells you with your little red circle, whether or not there's another cache within 528 feet or 161 meters if you happen to like metric. Right, and I do know if you are using Cachely, you can actually get put the proximity on there as well so you can see where the caches are as well. So there's just this another little tip for Cachely. Love Cachely, but you don't have do, to use do that like tool. you like Cachely? I really do. I no. mean, Nick's really a great guy and is doing some really great stuff for the geocaching community he with is. that app. Unfortunately, if you're using not, um, not on iOS, I'm sorry, but you can go use some of the other ones, but I really like Cashly. So uh, <laughs> if you can't tell, good job, Nick. So, um, so what else? Okay, so proximity, um, getting permission. What else? What else would be another one? Uh, use a good waterproof container. Okay. Uh, choose your container to fit the, uh, the area where you're hiding the cache. If you're hiding, um, as a cacher myself, I like to find the largest container that could fit the area where you're hiding it. Okay, that's great. Uh, cause... I'm not a fan of hiding a nano in the woods. So. <laughs> Yay, nano in the woods. Like you saw the video climbing the tree. Hey, that was in the woods, it was in the tree, and it was an ammo can. So, really good. And oldest caches usually were not nanos. No. Right? They're more of ammo cans. So, largest no. container for the where yeah. you're hiding it. Great yeah. tip. I mean, don't put a nano in the woods, you're just going to make people mad. Uh, well, if your goal is to make people mad um, or frustrate people, you could do that. Right, do that. And one of one of my caching mentors um, was was fond of frustrating people when when they uh, got on his nerves. Okay, yeah, I, is, won't, I won't mention his name, but Joe was a great guy. Okay, Joe. All right. <laughs> and does he still have caches that are live now? Yeah, yeah. Does he do yeah, puzzle some, caches? Some of the greatest caches in the Nashville area uh, were his. All right, so good job, Joe. Good job for ticking people off. Goal achieved. All right, so, okay, so proximity, going back through them. Um, cash size is another good one. Yeah. How, now, what's the, for somebody that's hiding their cash for the first time, what's the biggest hint or tip that you can give them? Uh, you may love the store that you're hiding your cash in front of or behind of. Don't mention the store's name on your cash page or in the cash description or the cash name. I mean, Kroger or Walmart have plenty of advertising already. Right, so don't advertise for them. They do a really good job. Yeah, e even if it's your sister's boutique, don't go there. Right, you're not supposed to advertise and that's in the complete part of it. So that's probably one of, one of the biggest mistakes in there. Yeah. Um, and the other one is, how, what about people are going, hey, can I actually hide a cash in a business? You know you can't. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, so don't. <laughs> don't do that. So don't. So so those of you that are starting to cash and you're starting to really think about hiding them. Now, what is your thoughts on people that have found three hot f finds and they're wanting to go hide a cash? What's hey, your thoughts on that? If their three finds were epic, then they're probably going to hide an epic cash. Right. If their three finds uh, were not epic, they're going to hide what they found. Uh, people tend to mimic what they've seen already. Uh, so w when I was starting caching a couple of years ago, um, everything was out in the woods. Um, I remember when I found my first LPC. Right. I was like, wow, I had no idea that skirt lifted like that. And then I found another one and another one. Right. I said, hey, 
this is like that other thing. Right. So. Now I've heard it said, hide the caches that you like to find. So, I mean, if you like finding LPCs, I guess hide yeah. the LPC. Yeah. If you like if, doing if gadgets, you like, hide gadgets. Yeah. But hide those that you want to find. Well, Gil, this is great. Thank you for meeting out here with me and talking, giving us some hints and tips. You're welcome. Pitfalls, it's like not a the thousand, following. It's a thousand degrees out here, Derek. It is. I'm like dying. We're yeah. going to go get out of here. So, um, <laughs> if this is the first time you've watched Behind the Cache, great. Leave me a comment down below. Was this helpful? And if you have any more tips, go ahead and give them down below. I'm dying. But hey, there's other videos that I have that have told cache stories. Go check those out. They're just right over here. Go watch a story of how a cache is done and some really great caches. Mm -hmm.